गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम यू इन एस जे एस यूट्यूब चैनल आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज रोमन न्यूमर इन एंशियंट इंडिया पीपल यूज नंबर सिस्टम जीरो टू नाइन फॉर इंडियन एंड इंटरनेशनल नंबर सिस्टम to represent the number that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 indian uh, ancient india developed this number and arabians spread this number uh, to the another country that's why we uh, say this number as india arabic number hindu arabic number because arab country arab country uh, spread this number to other country but the development uh, uh, indians develop this number system indian develop this number system and uh, spread by arabic that's why we say this number Hindu Arabic number. This is Hindu Arabic number. One, five, eight, fifty, hundred, seven hundred, twenty-five. And this is Hindu Arabic number. In Roman, in Roman, they are used in ancient uh, Roman. They used seven symbol, seven symbol. These are called Roman symbols. This is I B S L C D and F. There are seven symbols. These are called Roman symbols. The value of I in Hindu Arabic number is one. B stands for five. S stands for ten. For L fifty. C hundred. D five hundred M one thousand. This is called in the uh, Roman numerals. Roman numerals. Remember, Roman numerals have no symbol for zero. In Indian system, ah, uh, Indian system or international system, we can say in uh, Hindu Hindu Arabic number we have. But in Roman numerals, there is no symbol for zero. Another condition is symbol B, A, and D are never used. The symbol A, B, and D are never repeated. And third condition. Only I, L, I, S, C, and M can be repeated three times. Can be repeated three times. Or we can say no symbol is repeated more than three times. Means B, L, and D are never repeated. Rest of the symbol I, S, C, and M are repeated only three times, not more than three times. That's why in number four I have written no symbol is repeated more than three times. For forming the or representing the Roman numbers, there are some rules. The first rule is repetition of certain symbol means addition. Repetition of certain symbol. Repetition of certain symbol means this is R. This is I. But the condition is no symbol is repeated more than three times. That's why we will repeat I only three times, not more than three times. So I have written I, 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 I three times. One plus one plus one equal to three. S X X triple X means ten plus ten plus ten equal to thirty. Here is C C C hundred plus hundred plus 
हंड्रेड इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड इ कंसिडर दैट नो सिंबल इज रिटेड मोर देन थ्री टाइम्स वी कैन नॉट राइट दिस इट इज इट विल बी रॉन्ग ओनली थ्री टाइम्स वी कैन रिपीट द रोमन The another rule is smaller symbol written to the right of a larger symbol. Smaller symbol written to the right of a larger symbol is always added to the larger symbol. Means the smaller symbol when written a uh, with the uh, by the right side of a uh, of the this number it will also uh, it will always be added like b b i i i i is in the right side of b so b yeah, it will be add 1 5 uh, 1 1 equal to x b i b and i are smaller than x so it will be added 10 plus 5 plus 1 equal to 16 x l l x x l l l x l represent for 50 and uh, x is for 10 this is This is sixteen. C L X here also. L and X are smaller than C. That's why X and L and X both will be added. Uh, will be add uh, with C. Hundred. The uh, value of C is hundred plus L for L fifty and X ten. Because third rule. A smaller symbol written to the left. A smaller symbol written to the left of a larger symbol is always subtracted from the larger symbol. Once again, a smaller symbol written to the left of a larger symbol is always subtracted from the larger symbol. For example, see this is. I I is greater symbol. B is greater greater than I. I is placed before uh, B means uh, written at the left of the of B. So I minus one equal to four. Here also X is greater symbol than I, and so I is subtracted from X. A minus one equal to nine. Here. This one also fifty minus one equal to fifty, and d equal to five hundred minus one hundred equal to four hundred. The number four four number rule is quite different. Oh, okay. Before that, see here. Remember, b, l, and d are never subtracted. B, l, and d are never subtracted. Which one will uh, subtract? Only rest of the symbol uh, will subtract. Now see, I can be subtracted from B and X only. I can be subtracted from B and X only. Not we cannot write D I. We cannot write. It will be wrong. I can be subtracted from B or X. The second number is X can be subtracted from L, M, and C. Now see, I can be subtracted. I will be subtract uh, from B and X, and X can be subtracted. From L, M, and C, and C can be subtracted from B and M. This is the rule. We cannot subtract I from D, X from M. Ah, uh, the 
and this is the general rule to subtract the roman numeral now see number 4 where the smaller symbol is placed between two larger symbol when a smaller symbol is placed between two larger symbol it is always subtracted from the larger symbol immediately means let's see example x and v x and v both are x and v both are bigger or greater than i i is between x and v so the calculation is x equal to 10 plus 5 minus 1 equal to 10 plus 4 equal to 4 c x c both c are greater c is greater than x and x is placed between both c c means 100 100 plus 100 minus 10 100 minus 10 equal to 100 100 minus 10 equal to 90 equal to 190 this is the general rule to form the roman numeral i hope you all understand thank you and have a nice day